So, we've downloaded hfm.net, we've installed it, we've made sure that the viewing of hidden files and folders is already enabled. We did that in our last two videos. So now we're going to fire up hfm.net and we're going to add a client, save our configuration files and make a couple changes to the interface and just take a quick look around. Okay, so double click on the hfm.net icon and you'll see a window that looks a lot like this one. Okay, so there isn't a lot going on right now. So the first thing we need to do is, is we need to add a folding client. Now I already have a folding client running. It's one of my GPU clients, which is a client which runs off of my video card. So we're going to add that video card client. So I'm going to click the client tab here and click add client. And you'll see this window. The first thing we need to enter is the instance name. Now that instance name is whatever you want to call it. It's just for your own personal reference. For myself, I'm going to call it GTX 285. And the reason why I call it that is because that's the video card model I'm using. I'm going to hit the space right here. And I actually have two of these video cards running. So just for my own personal reference, I'm going to call it GPU 1. So in the instance name, which is anything I can call it, I entered in GTX 285, the model of my video card, and I call it GPU1 because I have actually two GPUs running here. But you can call it whatever you want. Okay. Next thing is we need to go to our log folder, and we need to tell hfm.net where that is. And by default, that's in one of those hidden files and folders that you already need to have enabled to be able to see. Okay. And that was in the first video of the series. So we're going to click the Browse for Folder option here. I'm going to click on computer, vertex SSD, that's my C drive. So you're going to go to your C drive, you're going to go to your users folder, you're going to go to your username that you use to install um, your folding client, and for me that's Christopher, so we're going to click this guy right here, and the app data folder, and roaming. If you can't see your app data and roaming files here, it means that you do not have the viewing of hidden files and folders enabled. If that's the case, you need to go back to video number one and do that. So we're going to click roaming. And right here, this is the first GPU client. So I'm going to click that guy. And you can see I have another one there, but we're going to ignore that one right now because I have more than one client installed for each of my video cards. So for you, first time setting it up with one client, Fully home GPU, click OK, then click OK again. And if you look here, you can see under the status column, it's a green bar. And if I hover my mouse over that, it says it's running. So a green bar is good, it means everything's running fine. Okay. If you're running um, a big ADV client, it may show as blue, that's OK as well. Progress is 29%, which is good. The name, that's the name I entered myself. Okay, so that's that. Um, instance name that might be something else depending on what you call it if you scroll over here um, what we're most interested in is time per frame or TPF the lower that number is typically the better it is the PPD is this one right here that's points per day 9020 the higher that is the better it is and if we scroll over here a bit further we can see this column right here that's the actual work unit or WU that we are working on. If you are asking for help in the forums about uh, performance issues or configuration issues or whatnot, you might want to give people the hardware you're running your computer on, uh, your folding client on. So that would be your CPU and your um, RAM and your video card model. And you will want to give this number right here. PPD, so right here would be 9020, and you might want to give this project information here. If we scroll over here, we can see a few of the other um, uh, bits of information given here. Right here, we've got username, and it shows Beavers Gone Bananas. That's my username I'm folding under, and that's 54196. If you don't see that, 
right click in one of the column headers there and you can add whichever ones that are missing. So if username is missing, you can click username again and it shows up. Just click inside that bar here. Beavers Gone Bananas is my uh, username I'm folding under and 5 for 196 is a team number. Okay. In this case that would be for the Hardware Canucks Forum folding team. So I've added a client, I can see what's going on here. Now we want to make some configuration changes. So we go to Edit and Preferences. So right here we can see that there's some preferences that we can edit. Um, everything here looks like it's pretty much what it should be. Okay, so I'm going to click on Startup. Now, um, I'm going to click Auto Run on Windows Setup, which means that I want the program to load when I turn my computer on. I want it to run minimized so that it's not um, taking up my screen real estate. I can just basically ask, ac access it from a taskbar. Options, Auto Save Configuration when changed, and make sure the Calculate Bonus Credit and PPD is checked off. If that's especially important if you're running SMP clients or if you're running a big ADV client as well. Reporting, leave that as is. Web settings, okay, so you can enter in your Beavers Gone Bananas uh, username or whatever username you're folding under. Put in your team number right there. And right here is something called your Extreme Overclocking User ID. Uh, that number may not be known to you. There's a website that does a really good job of keeping stats and that's called Extreme Overclocking and it's uh, abbreviated usually as EOC like you see right here. Go to your web browser and head to the folding.extremeoverclocking.com find your username and right here we can see Beavers Gone Bananas and if you look up here in your URL field, you'll see that there's a U equals and there's a number at the end. That number is actually your extreme ID number. So minimize the screen, enter that number in there, hit OK. Next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to File, Save Configuration As, and in your My Documents folder, or if you're using uh, Windows 7, it's just called Documents Library, give it a name. So I'm going to call this Bananas. and I'm going to click Save, go back to Edit, Preferences, and under Startup, click Load Configuration File, scroll down and find your file you just saved right here is Bananas, click Open, click OK. Now we, when uh, HFM.net automatically loads, when you start your computer up, it will load that configuration file for you.